After having a miserable opening weekend for Disney, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is actually getting even worse news in its second weekend. Not only did it have a piss poor opening, $60 million domestically, $130 million worldwide, on pace to lose potentially $250 million or more for Disney. But in its second weekend, somehow, some way, it couldn't even hold on to that number one spot at the box office. It had the worst drop in history of any Indiana Jones film at 56%. But also, it lost out on that number one spot to Insidious, The Red Door. This is after being beat on 4th of July by another small budget movie, Sound of Freedom. So now, as we sit here today... On Sunday, you can see Insidious the Red Door at $32 million opening weekend. Some that had a budget of $16 million has already made a profit worldwide versus Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. $300 million production budget, probably more in all reality. $150 million marketing. This needs $900 million to break even. And it's going to struggle to get to $400 million worldwide. That's how bad things are right now. Predictably, the rumors have already started back up again about Lucasfilm and about who's in charge of Lucasfilm. Despite overseeing failure after failure, Kathleen Kennedy still remains the president of Lucasfilm. A lot of people... Uh, talking about Kathleen Kennedy being fired. In fact, it was even trending the other day. Kathleen Kennedy fired was trending, in large part probably due to this article over on Yahoo. This is quite a headline. I got to be honest with you. Kathleen Kennedy fired. <laughs> Next part, has Lucasfilm fired its president after Indiana Jones 5? That is a very, very bold headline. Now, this is not being like, this is not a Yahoo article, as some people may or may not know, just like MSN. Just because you see something like that from Yahoo or MSN doesn't mean that they wrote the article. This is actually from comingsoon.net. It's an aggregate type of thing where it puts out headlines like this. Well, spoiler alert, when you go through this, it doesn't say Kathleen Kennedy's fired. It actually says she's still working there at Lucasfilm. But that has not stopped all the discussion. Even so many of the trades, so many of the mainstream media publications are finally looking at this situation a decade too late and saying, huh, how does she still have a job there? How does Kathleen Kennedy still have a job at Lucasfilm? What, you mean after destroying Star Wars for a decade? After destroying another property in Willow? After telling us what they were going to do with the character of Indiana Jones, going through that entire procedure and shocking, deconstructing this character just like they did with some of the other characters from Star Wars? Well, she has a job there because it's kind of what they wanted her to do. Of course, they're hoping it would make money, but she has the exact ideology of what Disney wants. That's why she's still there. And as I've said before, I think that this was the last thing she really desperately wanted to do was to get out an Indiana Jones movie. I think she's always cared about that more than she's cared about Star Wars. And at some point between now and a year from now, she'll probably end up walking away. It's not going to be a, they fired her and embarrassed her and said what a bad job. She didn't apologize to the fans. Whenever she's ready to leave, whenever that moment may be, she's going to go out to thunderous applause. Uh, they're going to say, thank you, Kathleen Kennedy, a strong, powerful woman, one of the most uh, prolific women producers we've ever seen in Hollywood. She set the stage for the new era of Star Wars, and she's just so amazing, and they're all going to clap for her. And whoever ends up replacing her is going to have her exact same ideology. This is Disney across the board. When you look at their live-action animated stuff, when you look at Marvel and what's happening with them right now, when you look at Pixar, all of it is failing. Uh, that's the story right now for Disney, but it's it's not a sh it's not a shock, I guess, that finally trades a decade too late are waking up to the fact that Kathleen Kennedy is terrible at her job. It only took one of the biggest bombs in Hollywood history, maybe one of Disney's biggest flops of all time, to make them realize, to make them finally question, huh? Maybe she's not the right fit for this after all. A little bit too late for anybody to actually change anything, but at least some people may have finally woken up to that reality. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is one of the biggest disasters all time for Disney.